from day to day, I'm getting more questions about what my thoughts are concerning uh, the probability of the December exam uh, being delayed again. And right off the top, let me tell you that I have no better information than you. CFAI does not consult with me. Uh, they do not include me in on any decision or any conversation they have about this. If I directly ask them, I'll get no answer. I will learn what they're going to do the same way you are all going to learn what they're going to do. So I don't have uh, any better information. But what we can do is apply a little bit of logic to this. Uh, we can see what's going on around the world uh, with the virus. It's, it's not going away. Some regions have done better than other regions, but it's a thing. It's still a thing. Uh, there is no vaccine for it yet, and I'm not even going to hypothesize on, on what the timelines are for that. Maybe there will be one, maybe there won't. I don't know. But let's uh, base it on what we know now. If, um, if the exam is going to be delayed, then everybody writes in June. Well, level one for February, or everyone writes in June. The decision will be made for you. I mean, you still have to make your decision about uh, when you want to write but if it is delayed well then it doesn't matter everybody writes on the same date so if if you picked june february or june well then there you go you don't have a decision to make you just uh, prepare for february uh, or next june uh, if you haven't made up your mind yet and you're trying to weigh the two well what's the probability if it gets canceled i would say that that's the wrong question uh, the more appropriate question you have to answer is, do you want to be in a room in December? Uh, if this is still what it is. Uh, and I don't, I don't see it suddenly drifting away on its own. We were told in uh, March and April uh, from, uh, again, I, you can only go with what medical experts tell you. We were told that, well, by the time the summer comes around, these viruses tend to just dissipate. <laughs> Well, that's wrong. I don't see that going on at all. Uh, if there's going to be an exam, um, a decision to cancel, I don't expect that you'll hear anything till uh, early to mid-September uh, on this one. So it is way too early for any decision to be made right now. If it were me in charge of making the decision, I would certainly say, look, we have, we have plenty of time before we really have to make that decision. Let's just see what happens. Uh, I mean, why make a decision now? You have, I think, till the first week of September to make your decision about whether you're going to write for December or whether you're going to defer it uh, for one of the other exams. So your only question is, what do you want to do in December? If this is still going on, do you want to sit in a room with a bunch of other people uh, over an eight-hour period? That's the question you have to answer. And if the answer is no, take June. Um, now, of course, you could... Uh, you could say, well, what if there's a vaccine? What if it goes away? What if everything is fine? Well, uh, again, you know, we, we have to make decisions about the future with the best information we have today. I don't really see it going away on its own. I'm not going to hypothesize about a timeline for a vaccine. I really don't know enough about that. Oh, there's some phase three trials going on. I don't know. I don't know. And even if one of them is successful, you still have to get get it from the, the trial to inside your bloodstream. Well, that's a long logistical process. So, you know, I don't know. If it's going to happen, here is probably uh, what it's going to look like. Check-in time is going to be a lot longer. Uh, there'll be distancing in that line every six feet, which means it'll be a long line. None of this crowding in uh, into the venue and, uh, you know, standing close to each other as you check in. Uh, it'll be a lot slower. A lot more safety features will be put in place, which means a high probability you'll all be required to wear masks. So you're going to want to find, if you're going to write in December, you're going to want to find one that, that, that doesn't restrict your breathing. These, these uh, um, type of N95 face masks, while they sound good um, in practice, they're meant for short periods of time, not eight-hour stretches, because the humidity that builds up in there 
and when I was younger, I, I uh, in summers, you know, you'd work construction, you'd help, uh, you know, with drywall. Most of the time you were doing the sanding. You wore one of those masks because you didn't want to breathe that stuff. Well, yeah, every 15 minutes or so you're going outside, you're taking that, that off just to breathe, just to get fresh air because it gets so humid in there. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that you have a good mask or uh, do you even want to do that for eight hours? So that's, uh, you know, the best that I can offer at this point is where do you want to be uh, in December? Do you want to be in a room uh, where, where this is still going on uh, and the exam is being held but with a bunch of safety features? If it's really bad, it'll be canceled. If it's not so bad, you're going to have safety features. One of those two things. Uh, so that'll, you know, maybe that helps you make your decision. I think you have to the first week of September to make your, your choice. If you're a subscriber on our site, you have till August 15th. So you pretty much have to make a decision sooner, uh, because that's when we release the mock exams for the December season. Uh, and if you're delaying all the way to next September, it'll affect when your mock exams will be available and when they end. Uh, so you're going to want to take the upgrade to the, uh, the next year, which I think is, it's like ten dollars to change from 2020 to 2021 we've had quite a few people uh, already uh, do that uh, you'll get something in your in mail uh, giving you instructions on on uh, how to make your choice uh, of what you want to do so I, I don't know that that helps very much uh, but it's just a different way to think about uh, the December exam instead of thinking about it in terms of well what is CFAI going to do think about it in terms of well, what do you want to do I mean, if it's going to be held, do you want to show up in that room? And if the answer is yes, well, there's your answer. If the answer is no, well, there's your answer. Uh, either way, right? Uh, so I, I hope that helps. Uh, if I have any other information that I come across that I'm allowed to share, I will. I doubt it, though. They This kind of stuff is going to be communicated to everybody at the same time. You're probably going to hear about it the same minute that I hear about it uh, if if there are any changes uh, that are going to be made uh, or any decisions about the exam that are going to be made. It could be uh, that certain areas might be cancelled and you either have a choice of going to another area or delaying. It could be just, it could be selective instead of globally. It could just be here and there. I don't know. I don't know if this helped answer any of your questions, but uh, I just want to get it out there that really it's the best that I have uh, at this point in time.